We will look into the utilities catalog and some of the commands in the catalog. First we will look at the solid hollow toggle and split IntelliShapes. For example, if I want to create a handle for this tipping gear, I can use the solid hollow and split IntelliShapes to get a handle. First I will select the handle, handle complete we see here in the uh, scene browser. I will hide it. And then I will zoom in so that we see the hole. I will select the hole so that we are in IntelliShape mode. Now we can create a, a handle of this hole. But first, if I left drag a solid hole or drop it here in the scene, it will turn it into a solid cylinder. That's why I will get this uh, dialog that tells me that the blend doesn't work. We can see here in the scene browser that the hole has turned into a solid cylinder and the blend, blend doesn't work. So if I left drag a solid hollow again, drop it here, it will turn the cylinder into a, a hole again. We see here in the, this icon. But if I right drag a solid hollow, drop it here, it will copy the hole and turn that to a solid cylinder. We have it here in the scene browser. So when it's selected in IntelliShape mode, I will turn on the tri-ball, I will move it out of the hole, like so. And we see that we have a new IntelliShape and the hole is still there. Turn off the tri-ball. So now if I left drag split IntelliShapes, drop it here in the scene, it will separate this IntelliShape from the rest of the of the scene, so now the, it is a separate part. We have it here in the scene browser, we can see that it's a part number two. So now I can create a handle and it, and it will fit perfectly in the hole. So that's a way to use solid hollow and split IntelliShapes. But now I will delete the new part and I will also unhide the handle. Next command is tribal on center of gravity. I will select the whole floor jack and I will drag the tribal on center of gravity, drop it here in the scene, it will calculate. Now the, the tribal is placed where the center of gravity is for the floor jack. So if I suppress the handle, I will see we have it here, handle complete, and I will suppress it. See here? in the scene browser that is now it's suppressed. Then I will select the floor jack and I will drag tribal on center of gravity, drop it here. Now the center of gravity is in the middle of the floor jack. So if you want to sphere on the center of gravity, you use this uh, command, sphere on center of gravity. You will have the uh, sphere here in the, where the center point of the tribal is. So I will bring back the handle by using the suppress manager, I left drag and drop it in the scene and will unsuppress all. So next command is suppress manager and suppress manager works differently depending on um, if you left drag or right drag. If I left drag a suppress manager and drop it here in this side plate it will suppress all other parts except this side plate. So it, to bring all, all parts back, I will left drag and drop it in the scene. So if I select this side plate and also the other one, and also the saddle, and left drag suppress manager and drop it on this side plate, it will suppress all parts except the one I dropped it on. So I will left drag and drop, drop it here in the scene. So it means to have these three, visible except the other parts. I have to select them and then I will right drag suppress manager and will drop it here in the scene. So that's the difference between left drag and right drag. So if you left drag and drop it on a part, that part will be visible, other parts will be suppressed. So it means suppress unselected. To, uh, if you right drag you have to pre-select the parts 
and then uh, right drag and drop it in the scene and it will um, suppress unselected. So that's the difference between left drag and right drag suppress manager. Then we come down to selection to configuration. If I drag and drop selection to configuration, drop it on the side plate, it will create a configuration just for the side plate. If we come down here to the right, we have a, a button for configuration. You can create a configuration manually, but using the uh, selection to configuration, you, you will uh, make a configuration for, s in this case, side plate. If I click apply, you have only the side plate here in the scene, you can work with it, or you want to make a drawing of it. So then we click this button, drop down menu, you will have side plate, configuration and default configuration. So if I select the saddle and this side plates and drag selection to configuration, I will have a configuration for these three parts. Now we have default, saddle and side plate. So if I click saddle, apply, now we have these three parts in the scene. We can also see that here in the drop-down menu we have Saddle, Side Plate and we have Default. So that's a way to use Selection to Configuration. So this was some of the commands in the Utilities Catalog.